What's up guys, Sean here from olightstore.com and today we're checking out a new product. This is the successor to the PL Mini. This is the PL Mini 2. Not only does it have 600 lumens instead of 400 lumens, but also it is a modular light system where you can actually slide the light back and forth to adjust it to your specific firearm, including subcompacts and compacts, allowing this to be put on any firearm that has a rail on it. I've got a VP9 SK right here. If you're familiar with this firearm, you know that it only has a 3.3 inch rail, which means that the standard PL Mini and the PL2 will not fit on this gun. Obviously, you can see that the new PL Mini 2 fits on here perfectly. So let's go ahead and put some rounds through it, get a closer look of it on the tabletop, and uh, tell you more about it. got a Sphinx 9mm right here. Um, obviously this is a little bit bigger than you need to uh, have for the little PO Mini 2, but it does fit really nice on there, even back farther back from the front of the gun. Um, so it's a really nice compact fit here if you got one of these Sphinxes. guys here are some pretty dirty PL Mini 2's uh, we just put a ton of rounds through this uh, VP9 SK and uh, it performed flawlessly um, super tight on the firearm um, and the reason why is because it's using this new design that we implemented in the PL2 RL and what that is is it has the swing arm here so it's got this lever and then also to put it on the firearm you have to push this way and that expands the rail when you let go it tightens up on the rail and then you swing this arm back and that makes it even tighter so it's got a whole lot of points of contact with the rail and that's why you're getting such a tight fit on your even subcompacts and things like that now the reason why this fits on subcompacts is because the actual rail piece itself is super tiny. Uh, if you can see here, uh, it's maybe, uh, I don't know, half an inch or something like that. So it can fit on super small firearms, including single stack XDSs and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and grab some blue guns and show that for you. Now check out this example of why these are so cool. So we got a little XD9 here with a ridiculously small uh, rail system on the front here. And what we're gonna do is show you, so here is the standard PL Mini. And I'll go ahead and put it up to the gun and look at that. So obviously, even the PL Mini, which is a super small uh, pistol light, is definitely, there's no way it's gonna fit on this tiny little XD. So now, let's go ahead and grab the PL Mini 2. And what we're gonna do is we can push the actual rail a little bit forward because it has these teeth right here. And that allows you to go backwards and forwards with the rail piece itself. And because that rail piece is so small, we'll go ahead and fit it on here. And then what you wanna do to make it solid is push back until the light hits the trigger guard. And then we can swing that arm back and boom, extremely solid here on one of the smallest rails that's even available. Let's toss this on a kel PF9, another ridiculously small handgun that has a rail on it. So we'll just push the rail backwards a little bit so we can go ahead and fit it up. So there, it's fit in place. We'll push this back until it reaches the trigger guard. We'll slam this little lever down, and there you go. It is on a tiny little single stack kel -Tec. Let's go ahead and move on to some other popular handguns. Um, we've got here the uh, little Ruger here. All right, so we got it on a super tiny Ruger. Fits perfectly fine. We also have it here on a P320, and that fits perfectly fine. Of course, you know, this is a little bit larger of a gun, but we just wanted to show you what it could look like on your firearm. All right, and then we also have it here on a P10C. Now the original um, 
PL Mini does fit on the P10C and the uh, P320, but we just want to show you what it looks like on some of the most popular handguns on the market. Let's take a look at the packaging here of the PL Mini Valkyrie 2. Um, so pretty similar to the original PL Mini. So it's got this nice white box here with the outline and picture of the light itself. Um, this one comes with a two-year warranty on here with the rechargeable battery. Um, if you look on the back here, it'll show you that it is 600 lumens. It will drop down to 60 lumens after a minute, and then it's 60 minutes at that 60 lumen setting. It's got 100 meters of beam distance, and it's 2.57 ounces. Uh, it's got a one meter drop and uh, IPX6 waterproof rated, so you can shoot in the rain if you have to or drop it in a puddle or something like that. Let's go ahead and open this one. Um, so we'll just open it here on the top, and it says pull out, so we will go ahead and do that. So let's pull this one out, and the light is sitting right there. Um, pretty similar to the previous unboxings and uh, we'll go ahead and open up this bottom piece here and what this is going to have is the uh, magnetic charging cable. This is the same charger as the original PL Mini. So if you have a PL Mini and you're wondering if your PL Mini charger is compatible with the two, it is. All right. Uh, again, just USB. You can plug it into anything you have such as a uh, you know computer, power bank, something like that. All right, when you first get the light, it is gonna have that Glock insert on it, so keep that in mind. You may need to switch it out to the Picatinny Rail 1913 insert. This one does say GL on it. Uh, so what you wanna do is take this uh, tool here that comes with it, of course, and then also open up this bottom section here, which is going to have the Picatinny Rail insert. All right, hopefully you can see that with the shadows here. Um, but you'll have that Picatinny rail insert. Um, what you want to do is just unscrew this one on the light and then remove it, put the 1913 insert on there and you are good to go. Um, again, to put this on your firearm, you just open up the swing arm, open this up, put it on your rail and drop it back down. Let me show you here as well what it looks like. So I got a P10C here. All of our lights work on the P10C, um, but yeah, so we got a PL mini right here. So I'll line this up and throw this on. I think the PL Mini fits great on the uh, P10C, but there it is there. And then we'll give you the comparison here to the PL Mini 2. Um, so we'll just go ahead and we got to open this up, get that on the rail. We can push this back and then we'll swing this down. So that's kind of how the PL Mini 2 looks on it. Um, solid on there as well. Um, but you can see here, it's just a little bit chunkier than the, uh, the PL Mini, but then again, you're getting 200 more lumens and you are getting a little bit better battery life on there. So that is something to, uh, to consider right there. If you look at the front here, you can see just how much bigger the reflector is um, with the PL Mini 2. So it's pretty apparent there, you're gonna get you know, a little bit wider of a beam, a little bit larger uh, viewable area when you're using the PL Mini 2 here compared to the PL2. Let's also go ahead and, while we're at it, throw on the PL2. So we got a big boy here, PL2, and then we'll swing that on, and that's on there as well. So it's pretty drastic compared to the uh, PL2 if you've got one of those. There's your size comparison there. And then uh, we'll go ahead and bring you the PL Mini 1 right here as well so you can look at that size comparison so this is much much shorter specifically built to fit those more smaller subcompact type of firearms we just shot this light twice all right the first shot the front bezel came out a little bit, and on the second shot, it actually took the front bezel off, which is super crazy. But here's the best part about it. Boom, it still turns on perfectly. We are good to go. You can just throw that bezel back on here, press it back down, and uh, you got a good working light after being shot. Hey Taylor, what are you doing, man? About to run over PL Mini. Oh, really? Oh, what is this car? Oh yeah, it's a massive truck and we're gonna run over the PL Mini 2 right now. Let's 
good to me. Now, before we end this video, I gotta take a look at the beam of the new PL Mini 2. So we're gonna keep this easy for you guys. I'm gonna have the PL Mini 2 here on the right as a constant, okay? And then I'm going to grab here the PL Mini here on the left. So PL Mini 2 on the right, PL Mini on the left. You can see that just as expected with that larger reflector, the PL Mini 2 beam is uh, a little larger in actual size. And um, it's kind of hard to see on the video here, but the PL Mini 2 beam is definitely brighter. Um, I can see a lot more. So there's kind of that, that difference there. And also the PL Mini 2 uh, is a little bit more of a neutral tone than the super cool white PL Mini. So that should help with keeping colors a little bit more true as well. So I think overall, just looking at these two together here, um, the PL Mini 2 beam is more useful. It's brighter, you get more surface area and that beam tone is a little bit more true. Let's go ahead and look just for fun at the PL2. So PL2 here on the left, PL Mini 2 here on the right, and it might gradually go down in brightness as I keep it on for a long period of time here. But you can see the 1200 lumen PL2 definitely blows it away in terms of brightness. Um, and then also the beam on the PL2 is a little bit tighter um, because of that brighter beam. So there's your comparison there. And then I can definitely tell that the uh, the PL Mini 2 is dropping down a little bit as I keep it on. But that's okay, we're just trying to see what the beam looks like. And then of course, on the left, we gotta take a look at the TLR7, which I would say is probably the only competitor in this size range to the PL Mini 2. Um, and the beam here on the PL Mini 2 is a little bit larger than the uh, TLR7. And the TLR7, again, for some reason, is kind of this, uh, this greenish color, um, whereas the, uh, the PL Mini 2 is more of just a standard type of beam color. What's up, guys? We are back in the office after an absolutely awesome range day. We hope you guys enjoyed that footage, checking out a bunch of different pistol options that the PL Mini 2 works flawlessly with. Now again, if you have any pistol whatsoever with a rail system, this will fit. We have tried several of them, uh, pretty much all of them at various ranges and stores, and they do all fit. Now the SIG P365 does have a proprietary type of slot system. You can get an attachment though that makes it into a Picatinny rail and those are all over the internet. So if you have a P365 and wanna use this bad boy, get one of those attachments. I think they're around 30 bucks and throw one of these on there and it does work that way. At 600 lumens, this is the brightest subcompact uh, pistol light on the market. And you can get these guys for 30% off only January 28th. So go ahead and jump on to olightstore.com during that time period and pick one of these up. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you're a fan of Olight. Like this video if you enjoyed the content. And we will see you guys on the next one.